Hello you, welcome to Geekers and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where we're making fish babies. That's that's our life, goal in life right now, is to get fish lovers to, you know, procreate. I'm running out of words to, to say fish sex, right? I'm running, out of word, I'm running out of fish sex words. And if you didn't think that I was going to get to the phrase, I'm running out of fish sex words in the first 30 seconds of this video, then... Then I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know who you are. So anyway, we, we're making fish sex. So uh, conga tetras. Uh, in the last episode, we had two baby conga tetras. Uh, a couple of people said, "Oh, why not just split all the babies up?" You know, like because of the predatory thing. Um, I would need six tanks just with some conga tetras in to get all the breeding done right. So. If it comes to it, we can do that, but otherwise, yeah. In the last episode as well, just as I pressed stop recording, um, our current communal means they like to share fish with lots of other species rather than just their own kind, creating a tank that keep lots of species. Oh, okay, communal. Oh, that's too cute. Um, just after I start recording, these guys here, the uh, the red striped earth eater, had some eggs. So I'm hoping that they do pretty well because there's no predators in there. It's mommy and daddy, and that's it. All right, so earth eater swarm. Yeah, no predators. Uh, 20 babies remaining. They have a 70% chance. Now, that's it, you see. Look, no predators. No reason why they aren't doing great. Uh, they've only got a 70% chance. You're always going to lose some eggs, right? You're never going to be able to get them 20. I don't think. Unless they bring something in later in the game that is like, uh, you know, an egg net or, or, you know, a cage or something like that that guarantees their, their development. I, I don't know. At the moment, I don't think that's a thing. Uh, but we can start working on that next summer, look, couple of fish. So we've got some... Freshwater fish then. We need the blind cave tetras. We've got those there. And we need the cardinal tetras as well. So let's have a little look at these. They're nibblers. Prone to nibbling appendages of other fish. Uh, okay. The egg scatterers. They need five animals to... They they like they work like these other tetras. I imagine these ones do as well, probably. Shola. Egg scatterer. They need ten animals. Woo! Okay. So let's do the blind cave tetras then first. And we'll put in... <clears throat> A, uh, we'll get rid of some of the walls that we placed in and we'll just clean up this area here four okay and then we'll put in a deep corner tank there and these can hold our blind cave tetras so we need three or more just to be happy but then to do that we need a group of at least five animals. So I don't. So six really. One, two, three, four, five, six seems the obvious number because that's three couples then, right? Okay. Look at my solid maths. We'll put some stairs up, and we'll I'll tell you what. We'll also get rid of here for a door. Uh, is that one door? Staff door. There we go. So hopefully we can set these up pretty swiftly. These shouldn't take too much, I don't think, to get up and run in. Let's try a large combi. That might be enough for them. It is. Boom. Look at that. But they also need caves and just rocks in general. Um, so let's do a rocky overhang. And then we just need a couple more rocks. There's rubble. Okay. And they need bloodworm. Okay. Let's see what they need then. So, egg scatterer. Boom. Right for the right moment. So, there we go. They're, they're ready. So, we could just leave them running there. Blind tetras are good to go. Good to make babies. Uh, here, these air spawners. See, I don't know how to get that up. I'm assuming there's something luck about it. They're, they're, I don't know if you can see it from where I am. No, sorry. Hold on. There isn't quite enough. Uh, like, they're not quite full there. But I just don't know of another way of doing it. There's only 14 babies now because obviously we're losing 30% a day pretty much. We only need one of them to survive though. We do actually only need one of those. So we've got Congo Tetris. I'm hoping they will start um, going around again soon. So two days they can start the process again and that will give us the Congo Tetris. And blind cave tetras, they've just got it. So we need to now do these cardinal tetras, but we're going to need a slightly bigger space for these, I think, because they are going to require um, 10. Fred is leveled up. Fred, your legend. Uh, just working on some cleaning. Good job. Uh, they're going to require 10 people, uh, 10 fish, sorry, to be in each 
tank. So what I'm gonna do is open up a space like that. Okay, and try something a little bit different here. We're gonna go for a deep wall tank. Like that. But make it so that like only those three, like only part of it is actually seen, if that makes sense. I don't even know if that's really a thing I can do. That won't. Ah, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get rid of these pieces here. And we can do this. Okay. And then people can come in and see them. There we go. But we can keep all this sort of space together now. And we've got space to feed them and stuff. So if we. If we say we can get up to this size, it's probably not the probably not the best way of doing it, but I, I'm I'm kind of okay with it if we just haven't been able to get one side there. And then here we'll have a large com well let's put the fishing first and see. So these are gonna be the Cardinal Tetra. They need eight of them just to be happy, but they need ten of them to scatter eggs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are going to need quite a bit of stuff to... I mean, they're, they're, they're small fish, but even still. Actually, that's enough. So these need plants, and they need acidic water. So the acidity is going to come from the RO machine. We'll also need... I think these are our first acidic fish. So we're going to need our uh, RO membrane. Oops, that's not where I wanted to put that at all. There we go, to fill that up. It's still not enough. Maybe maybe there is a plant that will help. Let's have a look. Yes, this one, the Java Fern, will give not only plant levels. There we go. Actually, actually that might have been too many. Let's uh, Let's take that one out. We can just put a different plant in, freshwater plants. Because otherwise, it's just a little samey, right? There we go. So there's a nice, uh, nice planted tank there, and they need brine shrimp. I'll put some brine shrimp down for them. I'm actually going to put it here for these. Because then whoever's feeding them will come in this way. Whoever's repairing the material will come in this way. Again, it's a little funky, but I'm going to go with it and see if it's uh, an issue for us. So as it stands, um, let's have a look. They have, uh, they don't need any bogwood, right? Okay, so where's the, oh, we have to click one of the actual fish, don't we? There we go. So, can't find fluffy foliage to breed. We don't have fluffy foliage. Oh my goodness. Ah. How do we get fluffy foliage? Is it a, have we got a message anywhere saying do this to unlock fluffy foliage? Ah, moss balls. I knew. I knew we had what we wanted. Moss balls. There we go. Now. Okay, so now, now that's that. There you go. We now have what we need. This is a very heavily planted tank, but I'm kind of okay with it. I think it looks pretty cool. So these these folks now are able to looking for fluffy foliage. There's a six free, giving them a forty percent chance to breed today. Okay, they're not shoulder. They're not the the what they called where they where they all pop at babies together. These ones, what they call them. Um. Egg scatterers. They're not egg scatterers. They just think about it and go for it. Okay. How are we doing over here? Have we got? Are we still on eggs here? My goodness, these ones are taking a little while, aren't they? Day three or four? There are seven eggs left. We only need one. We need one. And that's they, they're perfect. They're just dying because they're just dying, right? There's nothing we're doing wrong there. They're just dying because you know life's a bitch, I guess. And then you die. Big day for fish babies today. Big day for fish babies. Uh, our earth spawn has now hatched into fry. That's good. 
Um, and then all of the blind cave tetras and the cardinal tetras, or most of them, have bred as well. So we need to now make sure we've got everything we need for them. So let's let's check out the uh, the spawn fry here first of all. They have a 71% chance of surviving at the moment. There's five of them left, and it's going to take three days. So that, we should get one one fish off the back of this. They have caves. They've got caves. Uh, no issues here other than they now have green pellets to eat as well so let's just make sure we've got some uh, what am I doing? green pellets nearby and you're okay all right down here we need uh, from the looks of things our spawn aren't doing so great because of predators now again if we wanted to now what we could do is split off into little tanks just the mum and dad and the eggs right for each one i think although we maybe could just put the eggs in a tank on its own i don't know whether they need the parents parents boost predators uh predators they don't stop that happening so insufficient cave space is causing 20 percent of an issue at the moment and that's fine that's an easy fix we could just go we could just put some wood in there right that's now they've got a 64 percent chance and there's 21 of them and we need three fish so in four days, so we're losing about 40%, call it a day. So we're going to lose, uh, we're going to lose eight fish today. Then we're going to lose uh, that eight fish will give us 13. So from there we're going to we sh I, it's going to be tight. I think we'll end up with two again. But if we have to do the whole process over again, then that's what happens, right? Um, I'm not really interested in splitting them all up. It's just too much work. Uh, and then these folks as well. Let's check you out. You look like you're doing pretty good. Uh, cardinal spawn. Here we go. Oh, you only have a 55% chance, mostly because of predators, because there's just more of them, right? So 55%. So, so we're losing half of those straight away. We've got 23 eggs there. But is that 23 as well? That's 24 there. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to say we're okay then. We're going to lose fish, but I think it's okay. Toilets are really mucky, by the way. I didn't have a sponge down. I've just, there's somebody's in there. Just very slowly cleaning the in the door there very i mean you know real real delicate delicate sort of concentric circles you're just not fast are you are you just not very good at cleaning yeah you're just you're just not the best person for the job out of interest i'm gonna do it i'm gonna move some eggs out of here and just see if we can do anything about them so we can ah we'll do the whole thing how do we do it? Do we click them here? Move these into here. Okay, so there's probably going to be a lot of things I don't have. What's well, everything? That's fine. So we give them a little heater. There we go. What else do you want? You need a little cave. Okay. Give me your here, sex. So. No predators. So they've gone to they've gone up to 70% now. So what what are they on here here? They're 64%. So just moving them across to somewhere else gives them a 6% increase. I mean it ain't much, is it really? Let's be honest. Um can we move them all out then maybe? What does that do? How about we move them all out to here and just have this as a oh have this as a uh they gone? There's now three sets of blind tetra in there. Oh, I can only see two. That's a little weird. But otherwise... Oh, 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 oh. Otherwise, they're okay with it. Nigel? Nigel! Learn cleaning, Nigel! Um, 70%. Okay, so that that's the best thing you can do then, is drop them away from the place. So I'm kind of tempted to do that for these ones then, if, if it is just a case of, of dragging that over. Let's move that around a little bit to give us a little bit more space. Because we could get another little tank in here. So, I mean, we can always make this size bigger, right, as well. But for now, let's just see. Let's just see. Because these haven't got a great chance at all. So if we move these... Um, Now these need these are going to need more stuff because these need the the fluffies and they need some acidity and and they need some temperature as well. So how about we we just uh, people 
annoy me a little bit that it's not symmetrical anymore, but I, I can deal with it. So, little heater should be fine. Literally 18 out of 18 is exactly what we need. Um, I feel like that level of acidity we can get from the plants. There's your fluffies. And there's your acids. Oh, that's not quite enough luck. Well, in that case, we might as well get rid of you, that plant that we've just put in. And, uh, and put in one of those uh, little RO things. There you go. Okay, so they seem pretty content there now. So let's take the last ones out. And maybe this is it. Maybe we just have to have a little birthing thing. So now there's not quite enough fluffies. Alright, so can we move you a little? Them, yeah, move you. Ah! Oh, they can pile up. I was going to say, there's more There's more than that there. We need some more fluffies. There's your fluffies. Okay. So you know I will. I will move the whole thing now. There we can. There's no reason for it to be blocking all of this space. We can put this food back. Keep it all neat. Okay. We have given these little fishies the best start in life. They now have the best start in life. And maybe that's it. Maybe they don't have to be with parents. It might change when they turn to fry. That's the only thing. That's what we've got to check now is that when they turn to fry, it could change. So, Cardinal Tetra Fry. Okay, so all of the Cardinal Tetras, that's these ones. So now suddenly, quality, and they need, um, and they need that special fish, which I, I feel like we have that, don't we? Maybe we can set up another one of those, but that's fine. So if they still don't need mommy and daddy around, that's pretty cool. So there's your filter. And we'll, and we'll see. I, we have this food. I mean, it's far away. I won't lie. Because it is, it is really quite far away, isn't it? Let's, um... Let's fit another, another round of it over here, then. So, live culture. And that live culture needs uh, zooplankton to form. There we go. And that should sort them out. So they're all going, look, they're swimming. We're going to have loads of new fish here, right? I've got a feeling there's going to be a level later on where we where we don't earn any money. This one this one pays us money per day just for being awesome, right? I reckon there's going to be one where we have to get our revenue from selling fish. I think that's what I think that's going to be one of the levels later on. Is we're going to have to really set up all of these little tanks using pumps and stuff and keeping everything on, on top, keeping on top of everything. Um, Earth Spot Spawn has grown into an Earth Eater. There we go. Now, there is now three Earth Eaters in here now. Four Earth Eaters. Did we have... Did we manage to keep two? That's fantastic. We got our two Bree Bread Earth Eaters. That's awesome news. So, I'll be honest with you, I'm just going to sell them. They don't sell for much, do they? Look, maybe, maybe, maybe not. They won't, maybe there won't be a selling fish level because they don't sell for a lot of money at all. That was a lot of work for one hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> um, but that's good. We've got the two. We don't need to keep them. So Congo Tetris, are you, are you fancy uh, uh, round two? Okay, so they're waiting for the right moment. So they're ready to go again. That's good. This all seems to be okay. We're losing a little bit of temp here. Just probably as these are growing a little, I suppose. So we can pop in just a just a little one. There we go. That needs maintenance as well. That's probably why, actually, because that needs maintenance. Let's get a couple more members of staffing because we're doing fine for um, money. Yeah, look, filters low as well. I, I think that's more of a maintenance issue than anything else. Let's let's just sell that and and get somebody to repair that. That'll be fine. Is it we don't have a toolbox? High priority. Oh, somebody's already on the way here. There, there we go. Uh, Caleb's leveled off. Awesome, Caleb. You get to working on cleaning. 
Um, blind Tetra Fry. Okay, so that's these ones here. They'll now they will now need filtration. So we can put a, uh, a middling. No, they need 50 filtration, so they might as well just go for a large filter. And they need blood shrimp, which I, we've got some right there. So they're doing good as well. Okay. I mean, the only the only downside to doing it like this is that we're not earning uh, science or, or uh, ecology points off, off people seeing them, right? That's what the only real downside to keeping them sort of away like that. But it seems realistic, right? Having the little baby fish out of the way for now. Ah, okay. Cardinal spawn. Cardinal spawn has grown into Tetra. Natural causes, natural causes. So as far as I'm concerned, if that says natural causes, there is nothing we can do about it, right? Okay. So how many did we end up with there then? Two. So even with all of that, we still only ended up with two Tetras. So I don't know, yeah, if I missed anything or what, I don't know. Do these things cost money to run? Or is it mostly just a staff issue? Because what I'm thinking is I might as well just keep that and wait for them to go around again, right? Our sneakers dispenser is now available. Should we just put one of those down? Who was that? Who was that slow coach who was cleaning the toilet before? They could do with some sneakers. Oh, it's only a little thing, though. <laughs> now, you're going pretty quick. Who's who's not quick? Feeding and cleaning. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you sneakers. go. I want you to have sneakers. We can make them all... Uh, in the, I think in the next one I want to build them a locker room where they can all have sneakers and backpacks. Oh, she's speeding now, look. Is she? I don't know. I haven't really noticed. Not, not, not sure I'm so hot on the on the staff uh, items. Uh, it's fine, I suppose. Do we have more fish? Okay. So the Congo Tretras are going around again. That's good. So Blind Tetra and now grown into... Oh, nice. One, two. Blind Tetra has grown into Blind Tetra. Blind Tetra. Spawn could not grow up. There is insufficient space. And we've got eggs for the Congos again. And the red stripers are on the way around again. My word, they're enjoying themselves, aren't they? So what's up with you? There's just no room in here for fish. But we have four tetras. So that's, we've done that now. Nice. I'm just going to sell them. And then maybe like tomorrow will you have another go? Yeah, I think so. So what we need now is for, okay, so one of you to have another go. So do we, we don't really need to shuffle these off, right? I don't think, we only need, we need one of them to survive at this level. This has been more of a learning experience, right, than, than really sort of wanting to really pro-amp it. So what have you not got enough? Tech predators are pretty bad, I get that. Uh, insufficient plants is taking 25% off at the moment. So they, they literally just need one more plant. How's that? Yeah, that, that's fine. The, it's more than half, so we'll end up with one new fish from those. Uh, these fries should grow tomorrow, and then we can clear that one out. And then we're waiting for these to have another go. How long have you got until, you, until you're ready to try round number two? Two days on the Cardinals. Uh, all types of... For blind tetra frying tank eight natural causes oh those ones there oh, poor things. okay but that's fine we got our blind tetras we need one more congo tetra from here and we need one more cardinal tetra from here i'm i'm kind of happy to go and grab a coffee so i'll see you in a minute we're cooking on gas here we've got one more cardinal tetra needed one thing i will say is that 
for some reason this time, I don't know if they, because they had more of them or what, but it was telling me that they were going to get eaten by predators here in the main tank, and it was down to like 30% survival, so we, we would have been wiped out with them. So I was moving them all across, and I, I found actually you can move all things in one go. If you click the actual move tool, and you can click them like this, and it kind of piles them up on your mouse. I, I hope you can see that. Like, piles them up on your mouse, and you can move them to wherever you want them to be. So I'm going to click and drop them all back in here, and then the last move picks up the tank, um, which I don't want to do. We're no, we're no longer on the move tool. There we go. So we moved over here and there, there and instantly just by moving them, it's gone up to 52%. It's still low, that, though. That, I mean, that is still a low survival rate. They just maybe just that's how they are, I guess. They've got what they need. I guess we kind of have to sit and wait, really, on that one. Uh, but otherwise, we're done. We've got we the the Congos went round again. They're doing fine. Uh, these little dudes went round again. Uh, did we need was those ones we needed? Yeah. Otherwise, these these ones over here aren't. They're just chilling. They're just fish. Uh, okay, so blind Tetris are going again. Cool. Fred's leveled up. Go for it, Fred. Um, blind Tetris, I don't particularly feel like to worry about them. They're down here. Why are you now having less bog wood? Ah, because you've grown into kiddos again. I'm just going to keep clearing you out. I'm sorry. That's really awful. But I like to imagine that they are not necessarily selling them. But they're going to another aquarium and we're receiving a little bit of an administration cost for, for shipping them out. So I feel like that's that's how I want to play it in my head. I'm not stood outside the front of Sea Life going, Fresh fish! You know, like, I'm in my head, they're going to a better place. They're going to another aquarium where they're, where people can see them and, and we're building the gene pool up. And the money that's coming in is purely to, uh, uh, to recoup some of our costs for keeping them. That, that, that's the law of, of Mega Aquarium as far as I'm concerned. How are we getting on here with the little babies? One day to go. I think other than that, we're, we're done with this level, I think. That is the you win one, yeah? Okay, there we go. One more Cardinal Tetra. Um, I've learnt a lot on this one, to be honest with you. The breeding mechanic is, is pretty good. I, I, I think they've done it really well. I, I like how it plays out. And I definitely think these little sort of birthing pools, if you want to call them that, or like a fry pool, I guess. They've probably got a name. Let me know if they have. There we go. We've won. Um, they've probably got a name. So they're going to tell us all sorts of stuff. Here we go. Uh, you should be proud. You've led the breeding project here in Paskovka, above and beyond the initial expectations of the small research facility. Perhaps you're ready for a more conventional challenge, though. If so, an intriguing opportunity awaits you in Baraki. Uh, you can continue to build here in Paskova for as long as you want. The message will stay in your message log. When you are ready to head to Baraki, when you are ready to head to Baraki, let me know. We are ready to head to Baraki, and we will do so in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, be good.